to get with him quick. Yeah. Check out the custom plate. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be nice on the back. Look. What's going on? We got me and Big Dre over here. We got a little uh, present back here from Nitrous Express. The kids at the Oceanside High School are putting together a race car. They have a real cool uh, program over here where they're building a race car. They're gonna race another local high school at the end of the year. So uh, we're gonna go in, we're gonna check it out. We reached out to Nitrous Express over at uh, PRI. The teacher was actually there, spoke with them, introduced them, and they were on board right away anything to help the kids. We want to do this. We want to be part of it. They think it's great that the kids are, you know, learning uh, automotive in school. So we have a mechanic class in here. Yeah. So we're going to go in here right now. We're going to check it out, see them building this car, present them with this Nitrous Express uh, kit. Don't forget, Andre's got his gloves. Check out these custom gloves. <laughs> oh, you guy. This guy crazy. <laughs> Please, if we came here, if anybody ever messes with my daughter, they got... No! Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we got a couple special guests today. Hello. Uh, What's up guys? We got, uh, we got PDC Moblock. Big Dre. He's from the area. He grew up in Oceanside. And, and Andre. Been, uh, what was this? Uh, Street Outlaws. Street Outlaws. Street Outlaws. Yeah. Um, he brought us some goodies. Pete, you want to tell us what kind of goodies you got us? Nitro Express came on board. Uh, John uh, met him over at uh, PRI, told him what you guys are doing. They were amazed by it, totally supported it, want to help your kids out. So uh, they came on board, sent us this kit, and uh, I want to present it to you guys and hopefully you do some good things with it and kick Long Beach's ass, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that is the goal. Um, yeah, so like he said, we went to PRI and yeah. talked to a lot of companies and then told them, showed them what you guys were doing in the classroom. They were super excited that the youth is kind of getting involved in the motorsports industry and in just some type of trade on top of it and getting dirty. So everybody was more than happy to help us and Nitro Express was one of those companies that decided to jump on board. I believe it's 150 to 500 for the horse. It's a complete setup. We'll, we'll open it up, we'll get you guys around, we'll take a picture with you guys like we do, we'll make a nice post. So that way we can pay back the companies that uh, that are helping us out throughout this build. This is gonna, what's, this is the system that's gonna Get us from the 10 second class to the, what do you think, uh, 850? Yeah, try try for an 850. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we've been kind of just uh, working on fabrication still. Like we're getting into the nuts and bolts process, but right now we're just kind of, we're still focusing on fabrication. We've been blowing away on putting some new floors in. So all the floors are new. We just finished putting the, the trans tunnel in that we caught, we couldn't get that. So we cut that out of a donor car, four door car. Uh, we put uh, mini tub kits in, uh, so that gives you an additional two and a half, three inches of room for a uh, rear wheel there. Uh, we closed off the uh, the seat back, so because we're putting a fuel cell in, see, so as you guys know, we got it yep. closed off. Um, there was a whole bunch of rot in other places. There was some rot in the trunk. We cut that out, patched that in. We're getting ready for a fuel cell in the trunk, so there's some bracketry in there. As well as our battery and the nitrous system is going to go in the, the trunk as well. Those little mini tubs. Those are mini tubs. Yeah. Steel ones. Yep. Yep. Nice. Steel oh, ones. Those, those are the well. Those are the Detroit Speed. This car is almost identical to a third gen, a '68 to '74 car. Uh, most of the stuff bolts in and is is kind of close. The front end is a second gen uh, Camaro, so a '70 to '81 Camaro is the front end, but the back is still a '68 to '74 Nova. So luckily those tubs work. So we called Detroit Speed. They actually mm. sent us those nice. tubs out. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's like the 78, this model was such an oddball car. Yeah. Nobody, you don't really see a lot of them anymore. They were really common at one point with the X-Body platform, but you know, they don't really see them much anymore. TRZ gave us a set of control arms, got us a set of control arms from the front. Uh, Marty Reinhardt out of PA got us a set of Landrum front springs, the quick springs, the trick springs for the front. Uh, that's a rack and pinion steering kit for the front. Tons of companies have jumped on board. Um, Nitrous Express was another one. We have a quick performance nine inch over there. Full Caltrack suspension underneath the back. Caltrack set us to leaf springs and Caltrack bars. 
Uh, Viking is going to be sending us a set of shocks. Matt Funkhauser. Matt Funkhauser is, uh, we're actually getting a cage kit out from Matt Funkhauser. And he's as well sent us a bunch of bracketry to add. You're going to put the sliders in there? Yeah, we're going to do sliders, sliders yeah. in the back. Yeah, yeah yep. sliders on nice. the leaves. Yep. yep, sliders on the leaves. Matt Funkhauser makes a whole bunch of nice setup for that stuff. So that's all nuts and bolts stuff. The last thing we're kind of doing right here is we're fixing our, our cowl. This was all rotten. So there's all rotten here. Yeah, yeah. So we cut it all out and we, we had that donor car, the four door. More door Nova, so we're gonna put the new cowl in from the four door Nova. This was like, this is this was really tricky. I'm not used to doing this kind of. And the kids uh, do all this, the right? Kids are doing, yeah. Kids are doing all of it. You know, I'm kind of pointing the finger. You know, and you gotta get a rubber yeah. finger so I don't wear it out so much. But yeah, kids are doing. Kids are doing some of the tough stuff we kind of do, but the kids are doing just about everything. Yeah. We we show them the process and let them take over, and then some of the wells they blow holes in, some of the wells they get good. Some of them are more grinders than welders, but caulk and paint make us the welders we ain't, yeah. so. <laughs> so this is the whole rear end from Quick Performance, all nine inch. The kids have been starting to put the studs in, because they said there's just a bare kit basically to put together. We got to put the um, the perches in once we get the sliders, so that way we have to move the rear springs in. So once they're all hung under it, then we'll mount them, we'll get them tacked in, the kids will take it back out, they'll fully weld it all up. We kind of just got stuff everywhere, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> We're all over the place. But, um, yeah, since September, we had the car four feet in the air on solo horses. Now it's back rolling again to somewhat of a roller. We had the front end on last week, but we just took it off again because we we're getting the motor mounts in place and we wanted to work on that upper cow and stuff. Mm. But our goal is to race, or not our goal, but we are racing Long Beach at the end of the school year. So we're Oceanside High School, Oceanside, New York. Long Beach is our neighboring district across the channel, basically, we'll call it. Uh, we're friends with the guys who teach the automotive program there, and we want to do a nice interscholastic build off and challenge between the two schools. So that's going to be like in May? That, uh, June, we're going to do it. Oh, June. Yep, so we're trying to, we've been, the last couple of weeks, we've been trying to hash out. It's either going to be at Maple Grove Raceway or Cecil County Raceway. We're going to do uh, SK, is actually doing SK Presents. They have track oh, rental day with Oceanside Long Beach is like the main event. So that way anybody who wants to bring their cars and run, the kids can see other cars and run and watch other guys do make test passes. And, and then, hopefully we can get there and film that so you guys can see the finish. Yeah, that, yeah. as soon as we have that date, that date will be plastered all over the internet. So we it's going to be a weekend, week. right? Yeah, it's either going to be a Saturday or a Monday. I'm, we're not sure yet. We're, try, we're trying to hash that out right now between the two schools to make sure that they're okay with it. But awesome. the kids are starting to get working now. And uh, and what are they building? What's Long Beach building? They're building a 78 Cutlass they got, actually. Oh, sure. And so they, Tin Soldiers Race Car, hooked them up with the whole floor link set up for the back. Oh, they know G-Bodies. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, they, uh, the TRZ helped them out, also sent them an anti-roll nice. bar. So same companies that we've been reaching out to, they've been yeah. reaching out to. Uh, ARP sent us a full set of fastener kit for the LS that's going together. Eric's got the LS, he's machining it right now. All he's right. Uh, making, giving it a clean bill of health to make sure we can show, show some awesome. spray yeah, down. Yeah, 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 exactly, yep. Yeah. Seems showing all these welds. Yeah, just closing all that up here. All right. Honestly, this is the first time we're doing it, but we just need to cut this out one part of this so we can stick it down in the car. Like all right, awesome. Yeah. Dash six, look at that. Dash, that's dash six, I think. Right? Yeah. Oh, is that, yeah, looks like it. Yeah. That tank is nice. nice. Is that dash six? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. He's got hose in here and everything. Yeah, I think they would have put yeah. this. Check out the custom plate. <laughs> oh, that's going to be nice on the look back. That. Oh, that is going to be awesome. Look at that. Look at the yeah. solenoids. Nice set of stickers in the front. Oh, with the relay, bracket, awesome. and everything. Oh, you got a whole kit here. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited about this to put that on the back. Yeah. <laughs> this goes all the way from the front to the front. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And I got the uh, bracket. Yeah. Bracket. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. We can get them to start mounting up that bracket tree, too. We can do that. All right. Well, let's get the trunk painted all done. Cool. That's something we've got on. That is beautiful. Awesome. Wait. Wait. <laughs> The old regular small block is where the How big was that small block that was in that car? 434. Oh, he put it. First thing I met him, I said, hey, how big is that thing? 400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't crank. <laughs> yeah.
As you can see, man, all these kids are just doing all the work themselves. They're learning. High school, man, killing it. This is fucking, this is awesome. This is really cool to see these kids learning this shit and doing it. She said he's got like three classes a day, three different periods come in here with a different group of kids. They all do their thing. I think it's like 45 minutes each class. Come in, hustle. They all put in work every day. So you get what, uh, I don't know, two and a half hours a day of work going into the car. Which is uh, not a lot, but it's two and a half hours of dedicated work every day. No shitting and talking and all this crap. These kids are here just hustling, doing their thing. It should be the same, though. Yeah. You guys don't have drill bits for these guys? No, they do, but they're just trying to make it a little bit bigger. It's going to gonna take the whole, the whole period. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hey, man. Look, they already drilled the whole now. Look at that slave labor over here. <laughs> the guy teaching the hard way. I didn't have drill bits growing up. Oh. 30 days later, right? Yeah. <laughs> what intake? Oh, you don't know the intake? We don't know the intake yet, no. So hold this down here, right? Make sure it's tight and then pull and push and see if it works without jamming. And if it does, then we'll mark those bolt holes and drill those bolt holes. Uh, but no, the district's happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you for your service. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the district's so happy with what we've been doing because we hold a car show here every yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. We have all the cars come at the end of the year and we give back to the community. We give a welder away to one of the kids at the car show every year. They're happy that, you know, the kids are involved and stuff, that they're giving us a brand new auto shop. They're redoing and giving us a brand new wood shop and then building two brand new rooms in a courtyard and wow. giving us two brand new engineering rooms. That's awesome. Good. So just in time for when your kids get Yeah, 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 exactly. All right, yeah. Where these holes go, and see where the best fitting place on that driver's side and that trunk is. Okay? Your back. Yeah, I'm looking at it. You know? I'm sorry. Alright, so is that centered? Can we go left? Can we go back? Can we go forward? What do you think the best mapping on that? We want both these tabs to be able to get flat on that. We can bend those tabs a little bit. But see what the best mounting option is. Then also you gotta make sure the trunk's gonna shut at the same time. Right? So that hinge. You see the hinge? Right? So make sure that right, so you wanna make sure it's not gonna hit. There you go. The lower the better. Beauty. You guys are working on this right here. Not super huge, right? So, you don't need to do this. Okay, ready? So, we mount that right there. This thing... It's amazing how everybody will be listed what they're going to do in the shop. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Battery kill switch the mount and all that thing. Hey, do not bend this. They ain't gonna yeah, get no work done with Dre talking to every kid in the class. Dre yeah, wants to sit here and talk about it 20 years ago. This guy hasn't even picked up the drill yet. He didn't start drilling. Dre, right, you know they only got 40 minutes to get work done. Huh? They only got 40 minutes to get work done. No, no, we're talking about his car now. This guy wants to do work. He doesn't want to hear Dre's stories. <laughs> you saw his custom gloves? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got some problems. Yeah. Right? Peter, leave me alone, Peter. Boy, we need Drake. Come here. Yeah. Do you want me to give him a hug? No. What? <laughs> Show him your gloves. Huh? Show him your gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get cold. I want to get a ring. I said, my daughter's going to get embarrassed. <laughs> no. Peter, did not bring him. We got to hold on a little bit and get it lifted up.
Turn it upside down. Good boy, Daniel. So that's it, me and Dre leaving the shop class over there. It was actually pretty cool, right? Pretty oh yeah, cool. I liked it. Pretty sick. We act like the kids in the class. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, you gotta have some fun. And uh, it was cool, there was even girls in there. Yeah, I know. Doing stuff, you know, which yeah. is awesome. Mm -hmm. My daughter you know? goes to, I'm not to that class too. Yeah, see, girls in there building race cars, it's awesome, so keep it going. I know I got a better chance of my daughter building race cars than my son. Cause he likes sports and she likes the car so maybe one day she'll be in there and it's a uh, cool they get a new facility they said you know build them a new uh shop and um so now we'll see we'll uh, keep you guys updated on this build and hopefully we can make it to the race they do in uh what do you say may they june. race may or june yeah, they're june. racing um the long beach car and uh periodically we'll drop in there and uh keep you guys updated but I think this is really cool and uh, really awesome for the kids and thanks again to all the sponsors that helped them and big shout out to Nitrous Express, um, Brent, um, Poland, Mike, Jimmy, Chris, the whole crew man, I know I'm forgetting people but whole Nitrous Express crew man, thank you so much, appreciate you guys and that's about it so rock and roll.